welcome to another episode of Gump Gizmos, where today we are going to be revisiting an old friend of ours, the Hollow Patch, or the DIY Hollow Lens. Now, that can't, can't only fit over my glasses. Oh, I can actually. No, that just looks weird. Now, if you don't know what this thing is, I've made several videos going in depth about it. You can uh, click right here to watch a playlist with them. Got some cool, funny, goofy stuff right there. But uh, essentially, I'll give you a quick recap of what this is. Now. This is a do-it-yourself version of the HoloLens, and the HoloLens, if you don't know, well, it's weird that you clicked on this video, or actually might not, because the video is titled Holograms in Minecraft. In which case, prepare yourself for a world of enjoyment. Anyway, the HoloLens is a augmented reality headset device created by Microsoft, and it's similar to like a virtual reality headset like the Oculus Rift, except the key difference that instead of creating a fake world around you, it shows you the real world with digitally overlaid image images on top of it, and it is so cool. So you can have readjustable size flat screen TVs on your wall. You can have Minecraft on your on your dining room table. You can have whatever you want. I'm, I'm about to tip off my chair. I don't want that to happen. And I'm, oh, I almost crushed this thing too with the chair. Don't want that to happen either. So basically, what I did is I made this thing, which is half of a Google Cardboard that has your phone in it, and how it works is simple. One eye sees the real world, the other eye sees the digital world, or whatever is being displayed on the phone, and then it, those images both come together to create this illusion of a holographic image. And I've done several stuff with it before, like I've watched like YouTube videos and uh, as a holographic screen and I've played some games, but there's something missing from it. The one thing missing that everyone wants. No one wants the technological innovation. No one wants the creative... The, the, the miracle of what it is. Everyone wants Minecraft. That's that's all I wanted. I can't blame them, honestly. From the first trailer of the HoloLens, we saw Minecraft. And it turns out that Microsoft actually bought Minecraft for a, over two billion dollars. That may be completely wrong. I'll put the correct estimate right here. If I'm right, if I'm wrong, then whatever. Anyway, so Microsoft bought Minecraft partially so they could use Minecraft in their new system for the HoloLens, which basically lets whatever table, whatever surface be your Minecraft world you can build and interact with. But the problem is, I can't really do that with this thing. The key difference is that this HoloLens cannot spatially map anything, and that's one of the big draws for Microsoft's device, is that it can map out your entire room with special sensors and cameras within seconds. Whereas this thing, it can't. Any game or any video you watch, any hologram that's in front of you with this, is not static to the environment. That is to say, it will move as my head moves around. It doesn't really look real because it isn't connected or sitting onto a surface. So I thought, you know what, what the heck, what the hey nay, Shay, Shay, that, uh, I'll never say that again. I wanted to create a real augmented reality experience that can take a hologram and anchor it somewhere in the real world. Now, my iPod is not fast enough to be able to scan a room, and I honestly don't have the techno technical genius to make that, so I decided I'd go baby steps. And the first baby step is image mapping. Now, image mapping, which isn't the official word for it, is a typical in AR apps, you've probably seen them, is basically when the camera looks for one specific image, and then it overlays the digital thing, game, whatever, over that image. So I decided I would go into that. I'll see, I'll explore the realm of augmented reality. And it, it was rough. I had to journey to the far corners of the internet. YouTube tutorials, WikiHow, coming together to produce something kind of crappy, but also kind of cruel. Could not cruel, cool. So I used Unity, which is a pretty popular game designing program, again, free to download, and I made an AR app also with a Vuforia plugin. I, it, it's very complicated. I'll have a link to the description to the YouTube video where I learned how to do all of this if you want to go to it, but it was really cool. And this is the very first experience of me creating augmented reality. Here's to hoping. Dude, dude, check this out. Freaking, I'm the freaking wizard of computers. Look at that. See, what, what do you see on this? It's a picture, right? Look there, see that? That's what I call a cube. Whoa. Interesting. Interesting. It's the future, dude. 
It's, it took me a long time to get to this point. I am very excited. Ugh. Isn't that awesome? Okay, granted, it's just a cube. Not very cool, but what if we make that cube into more cubes? Into more cubes until we get Minecraft a world of cubes. I'm running out of battery. That's great. So to create on my Minecraft world, at first I got, of course, this a little Minecraft image that I printed off, and I scanned this into the program, and then with a little program for a little technical genius, I downloaded a Minecraft world sort of image to overlay on top of it. And I think I think it looks pretty cool. Just that's just experiencing it for yourself. It's freaking awesome. All right, now I apologize in advance for the quality of this video right now. I'm filming it with my webcam instead of my camcorder because uh, the software that's running the AR program is on the computer right now, as, as well as on my iPod. So I did this so you can sort of have an idea to see what I'm seeing. So the program, what it does, when, uh, the, whenever uh, each camera, whether on my iPod or the webcam, sees this image, it will, oh, uh, there we go, it will digitally overlay a Minecraft world on top of it. So let's see how this works. First, we'll have camera see it all right all right all right now let's see if I can get the whoa oh my that is so cool and it the, oh I lost it a bit okay oh that is so awesome and it looks now the only difference is what I'm seeing is it's transparent because of the optical illusion but it it looks like it, it's there pretty much this is awesome then we can like interact with it a bit as long as you don't cover the image. That is cool. That is cool as heck, ladies and gentlemen. Dang. Now, now you're probably thinking, well, this is not real Minecraft. This is just a over image of it. This is just an object, and it may be, but that doesn't mean that you can't make games and use them with this thing. Let me, let me take a look at it so cool anyway on with the video now you might say Grant well that's not Minecraft that's just an image a block of, of Minecraft that's just something overlaid on this you can't really interact with it or play games with it and that I say I missed and that you are right um, but that doesn't mean that you can't make games in augmented reality with this. For example, the first project I made before the Minecraft thing was based off the tutorial video where I made this really simple ball in maze thing. But it showcases that you don't just have solid objects, but you can have separate objects that interact with each other. So it is possible and feasible to have Minecraft's augmented reality in your world. And it has been done before, not even with a HoloLens. I think it was um, 2009, 2010, there was this app, um, only on iOS, that let you take actual parts of your Minecraft world on your computer or whatever, upload them to your phone, and then take that and augment a reality within your world. It was so cool, that is so much closer to holographic Minecraft than what I've made. But unfortunately, this app was taken down for some reason, but I say bring it back, bring back Minecraft. And so it is very feasible to take your world from Minecraft, to put it onto a phone, or make some interactive game that you could actually play with this. Now, I am not very skilled at Unity. I will continue to try to d dwell into the rabbit hole that is game design. So for right now, we have holographic Minecraft. It could escalate to something better, something bigger, something more glorious, a world with, where fict fictitious things are real. I don't, whenever I get dramatic, I like get an accent. I don't know what it is, and I apologize for that. But hey, isn't that's pretty cool? Wouldn't you say? I would say so. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode of Gumtious Gizmos. Click on this holographic Steve to subscribe and be updated as I continue to make more Minecraft augmented reality stuff and also some more Gumtious Gizmos, which you can click up there to watch some more of. Oh, gotcha. I'm just gonna click point there. I pointed there. And anyway, if you like this video, then I like you as a person. That's it. And have a great weekday, month, year. Goodbye.